let's create the host entries so let's go to the host file and add one uh, system to it we'll go to slash etc cd slash etc and symbol let's cat it to house okay I can see the file so vi so I'll go to the last most and do one simple entry okay I will give this as an open okay 192 168 0 dot 0 dot 110 uh, I'll, I'll give the name as linux 01 okay and let's make one more entry for linux 02 0 2 192 okay what next we are going to do is we are going to type a command and symbol hi hyphen list host all okay if we just type linux 01 we'll get only those system got it so the group what we have created so we have created two groups called Linux 01 which contain this IP and Linux 02 which contain the second IP. So instead of putting any particular group, you can simply type all and you will get all, all the systems. Okay. Now actually we are going to run a ping command and check that are we able to connect or not. Yeah, we can individually run and check but from the Ansible we are going to run this and we are going to use this. Okay. Just a second, guys. Ansible all hyphen and ping. Okay. So we get an error like permission denied, permission denied, failed to connect to the host via SSH. So for, for this, what we need to do is we need to generate an SSL on Ansible server and move the keys to the required server. Okay. So the next job is to generate an SSL key. So to generate an SSL key, we are going to use SSL key hyphen T RSA. Okay, so let's generate it. Okay. So enter the file which, so we'll just press enter. We want RSA in this ID underscore RSA. We'll put one phrase. okay so this says that it has been generated so what we can do is if we go to roots and dot ssh so if we do ls you can't see uh, something called Or something a file called dot ssh because it's a hidden file okay so now when we do ls hyphen la we can see our dot ssh so we'll go to dot ssh okay now we'll see that there is something called rsa under id underscore rsa and id underscore rsa dot pub what we need to do is we need to copy this r id underscore rsa dot pub to the destination vm okay and this is our destination VM. So this will be our destination VM. Let me connect to it. SSH. So guys, uh, in this, what we need to do is for installing the key is like we have to use SSH copy, but in another system, so these commands are more like if you want to use uh, what I can say um, CentOS or something like that then these commands are successful but in our case uh, this is something which I'm going to do okay uh, it's a straightforward command 
so this need to be executed from the system itself so uh, ssh uh, copy id and we'll write the ip address of that 192.168.0.111 that's the second system press enter it will ask the password we'll put the password of the system and voila it has been added now let's run the command call ansible ping and all i love you it asks the passphrase and we can see yes now we can log in since uh, even the second system we have copied it but i'm not sure why triple one got successful one one zero never got successful why one one zero never got successful so guys you can see uh, now both are successful uh, i don't know i think it took little time to get those authenticated but i think both are now successful let's try again and check it yeah now both are successful so now our ansible system is able to talk to both our systems now next job is to create playbooks so i'll stop this video if you like it please do subscribe it if you have any doubts anything please do comment i'm not mastering ansible even i'm learning i'll try to answer if anybody else can answer it please do it it will be really helpful and thank you for liking this video subscribing this channel thank you everyone have a great day